But there's one recession buzzword you might not have heard as often over the past 12 months. Burglaries. Just before 4am, it's believed two men broke into a house on Templeview Row in Clare Hall. The men were armed with a knife and a hammer. Early this month, Gardaí issued a warning that the number of bogus traders and house callers was on the increase. This type of crime is seen as particularly despicable, since it often preys on the weak and elderly in society. With the downturn in full swing, theft is spiralling upwards. Over the course of 2009, burglaries increased in 20 out of 28 Garda divisions across the country. We look at the latest state-of-the-art technology being employed in homes to protect dwellers against intruders. In the 12 months to the end of June, around 72 million worth of goods was stolen from Irish homes. In one third of all cases, jewellery was taken. With the recession in full swing, burglars will go to any length to fill their coffers. Disguise is one effective technique. Irish society is not close-knit, as close-knit as it used to be. And therefore, uh, an enterprising criminal can plan to burglarise a house during the day because it's uh, perfectly acceptable if they look like workmen going in to do a job in a house that the neighbours down the road won't see anything unusual about that. We discover how high-tech security, once the stuff of James Bond movies, is now being fitted in Irish homes. With your home it's so personal, you wouldn't like anybody in your home, you'll do anything to keep them out of your home really. Whether the law changes or not, people on the ground feel vulnerable and they're taking new precautions to protect themselves. Greg McGarry runs Halo Security, specialising in state-of-the-art technology. He's got devices you might once have seen in a Hollywood movie. But over the past year, they've become commonplace in Irish homes. In previous years during the Celtic Tiger, we noticed that it was high net worth individuals who were investing in security for their homes and putting in professional security systems and CCTV and that sort of thing. Um, we have noticed a market increase in the number of inquiries recently, uh, possibly due to the recession and the increase in, in, in burglaries that people are suffering. In one of the houses we visited with Greg, he showed us how to turn a home into a fortress. As you can see here over my shoulder, we have a camera that actually has very long range night vision on it, which um, allows the camera obviously to see at night. One of his clients is Deirdre. She decided to get CCTV installed in the home after a series of break-ins to her workplace. So the reason I decided to put the cameras in to work was because I just felt like I had to improve security. We had break-in inside and work and I think the cameras are a great deterrent and they're a great way to catch whoever has broken into you. I decided then to put them at home as well because it's very handy to see who is actually around your house and what's going on. You can get the text messages on your phone, you can see who's around your house and I do think they're a good deterrent as well if people see that there are cameras outside your home, they're not as inclined to go near it really. Uh, in this case the owner has selected one of our touch monitors which allows them to see uh, all around their home from their bedroom but also they're able to change which camera is in focus at any given time so you can see in this case you can just touch the monitor and it brings uh, it, it allows us to actually see which which uh, screen is of most interest at that time so you have your front door here uh, approach to the main door from the from the side of the house then you have the actual front door you have the driveway covered here you have the side of the house here we have a, uh, an auxiliary monitor also in the kitchen. People spend a lot of time in a, in a kitchen. It gives a lot of peace of mind, you know, when you're, you know, if you're maybe not near the front door or anything, you can see if there's anybody coming near the house. Also, when you're away, that if you want to see what's going on around your house or who's calling to the house or anything like that, 
that you can actually just click a button on your phone and you can view it straight away. I do think we'll probably see a lot more of this technology in normal homes. I do think it's the way forward. With your home, it's so personal. You wouldn't like anybody in your home. You'll do anything to keep them out of your home, really. So I do think it is probably the way forward now. It's not just CCTV Greg is supplying to homes. The fog secure machine has become the latest deterrent against unlawful entry. Halo Fog Secure is a security fog device which injects dense fog into a premises in seconds, filling rooms uh, literally in, in 10 to 15 seconds to the point where it is impossible to see. In this mock-up, a burglar enters a home, triggering an alarm. The noise is one deterrent, but if that doesn't stop him, he's also going to have to battle his way through dense fog, pumped all over the home. Obscuring almost everything in sight, felons don't stand a chance. The fog security system is the ideal solution for preventing smash and grab robberies. Because as soon as you come in, you have very, very limited time to make a decision that this isn't going to work and you've got to leave. And that's the whole idea behind the solution. Businesses are bolstering their security too. In this mock-up, our crook is back vying to gain entry into a warehouse. He dismantles the lock using bolt cutters and opens the warehouse exterior gates. He darts through the gate thinking he's undetected, but infrared beams on either side of the perimeter have been triggered. Instantly, they notify security that an unwanted presence has been detected. The difference here is that the security system is completely independent of any power or phone lines um, or even broadband or anything like that on the site. And what that means is that even though they've already made an attempt to disable the system, the system is completely independent and will wirelessly alert the monitoring centre to the presence of an issue and then our staff can dial in, check the cameras and contact the Gardaí as appropriate. If triggered, the infrared beams can also send a text message to your phone, notifying you of an issue on site. The text message that comes in from the system indicates to us which sensor on the site has been activated. So we know which site it is, what sensor has been activated, and so we know the area of the security breach of that site. Before the thief even gains access to the building, he can be chased off via speakerphone if security deems it necessary. Warning, you are being monitored by Halo Security. Please identify yourself to a monitor station. These are the security measures people are employing to fight burglars. Protecting property is an everyday reality in these harsh economic times.